Wow. This is a female labyrinth from the first litter. Wow. That is a beautiful snake. Oh my gosh. What in the world? Look at that. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. We're somewhere in the middle of Missouri. Uh, Forrest is on the phone, is always driving. We're heading to Jeff Ronnie from Boa Files right now. I am so excited. I've been wanting to go to his collection for 20 years, so it's gonna be amazing. I think we uh, have like 10 minutes ago. We're gonna be there, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Just to set the moon, here we go. We are literally, look at, look at where we're at here, guys. We're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, this is as rural as it gets. Yeah. And we've been driving on this road for 20 miles already. Yeah. Well, sure enough, the low fuel light just came on. I'm thinking there's no gas stations in this area anywhere. So uh, let's hope we make it. We still have 20 miles to go before we get to Jeff's. And then we're hoping maybe Jeff has a gas can or something. So way to go for us. Good yeah, job. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not the first time, right? It's either <laughs> gas or I miss <laughs> a turn. Something or we run happens. over something in the middle of Africa and almost get killed. So yeah. uh, it's always an adventure with Forrest. But uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll make it there. All right, guys. We made it down here to Jeff Ronnie at Boa Files Place. Unbelievable. Look at this place here. Oh my God. These are all boas. And this is just one aisle. This is the craziest thing. All boas. For you guys that love boas, you're going to absolutely love what we're going through. Jeff's going to show us around. But I mean, look at all these just aisle after aisle. Oh my God. And there's so much cool stuff. I don't think I've ever seen a boa collection. I Well, I know I've never seen a boa collection like this. This is crazy. So uh, we're going to meet up with Jeff and we're going to start looking at some cool stuff. Of course, we're here with Jeff, the absolute boa master jeff thank you so much for bringing us first i mean this is awesome and uh what do we got here this is crazy this is a hypo super key you kind of founded the key west thing right another guy actually did but he dropped out of it right away okay so, so then I, you took I, over I, I took it over yeah wow That's and good. so what exactly is the key west stuff then it's a co-dominant or it's recessive or it's an incomplete dominant incomplete it's dominant this, it's this pattern the connected pattern although this is more extreme because it's Hypo and it's a super. That thing is crazy cool. This is a pastel dream sharp albino. A pastel dream sharp albino. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. I mean, that thing is ridiculous. This is an anarthristic Key West and it's got this crazy thing going on the head. It looks like Paradox, but there is no history of albino whatsoever really? in any of the background of any Gosh. of these any of these key wests. Wow. So, so it's it's an, it's a dinker. Wow, basically. that's amazing. So this is another key west? Exactly. Wow. Gotcha. That's kind of your classic key west right there. Wow, that's amazing. Wait till you see this one. How's he look so far? It looks like a boa. <laughs> oh, wait a second. <laughs> Got a little uh, extra something in there in the middle. Oh my gosh. What is it? What is now? This is Paradox this or is this is, something different? This is a black pine. I look like a black pine. I, don't, I call this the bandit. Right. He was born like this. Wow. It probably is not genetic. It's probably more like a birthmark. Oh, okay. That gotcha. people get. Right. So in that case, it definitely would not be genetic. Right. But I had to find out. Oh my gosh. And this is a boy or a girl? This is a boy. So a couple next year he maybe. Made, he made babies last oh, year. Oh, he made babies. And they're, none of them were like this. Okay. So I'm hoping it's simple recessive, which is best case scenario. Yeah. But I've got several years to wait to try and yeah, do try that. Yeah, try that. That's wow. spectacular. That's one thing I love about coming to a guy like Jeff that specializes in a single species is, you know what? He's seen that thing, it's so cool. He had to get he had to have it either way, you know, like he, he loves boas so much where it's like, hey, even if this doesn't pan out, I'm gonna buy this thing, I'm gonna have to have it to look at forever, and that's that's really cool. Again, I mean literally every single cage here has a boa. What's so unique about Jeff's collection is number one, he's had 30 plus years of breeding and working with boas, so he really kind of wrote the map to how you actually work with these and breed them. I've learned so much today, it's not even funny, but typically when you come to a big collection like this, there's like boas and pythons and different things. This is just all boas. I mean, he is dedicated to the craft of working with boas, which I think is just absolutely incredible that someone can stay that focused on one species for 30 plus years. VPI tends to mess with the Key West pattern. It okay. uh, diminishes it. Okay. So the connected pattern of it isn't quite as obvious. But you can still see the connected pattern. There's a couple of interesting things that Key West have that other boas, most other boas don't have. And one is the Key West eyes are very dark. If you look at any other VPI, you won't see those dark eyes. I mean, they're really dark. And its mustache is very, very pale. VPIs have a pale mustache compared to normal boas, but it's always very predominant. You can still see it, but on, this, on the Key West, you can't. 
We bred this girl last year to another Key West and made Super Key VPIs. And they're in the other room. This is a Super Key West male. Wow. It's about 18 months old. All my Super Keys are doing great. Oh my gosh. They start out amazing. smaller than everybody else in the litter, but they do great. This male bred the female that's in this cage, who's opaque, naturally. And she ovulated, so oh, we're hoping that something will happen and that we'll get uh, hypo jungle super keys oh my gosh. from her. This is a VPI snow and probably a jungle. Snow glow, wow. probably a jungle. That's beautiful. This is a jungle Key West VPI. That is unbelievable. Wow, look at the color on that. So the fa this is what this is the father to the super keys. God, they can breed more. Well, this guy is probably four years old. Wow. This is as big as I ever need a male to be. Really? Yeah. This is a jungle Key West Sun Glow call. This is the size I bring them in for breeding. So is this female big enough to produce? She is big enough to produce. I wouldn't breed her at this size. She'll probably be another eight inches or so. Okay. By fall or late fall. This is a jungle Key West BPI female. This is about five years old. Really? So five I raise years. the BPI stuff you gotta raise slow. So this she's either four or five years old. Key with VPIs is that you're not pounding them when they're little tiny babies. Okay. Because they grow exponentially when they're tiny. Okay. And their organs can't keep up. But when they get to be big, you know, she grows eight inches and puts on 50% more weight. That's not that much growth in eight months. Right. Compared to a baby, which you can make them 20 times as big in a year. That's just too fast. Over the years, I've been to a lot of really cool boa collections. Peter Call, Chase Baker, a bunch of different people. I have never seen a collection like this before. I mean, it's not only cutting edge, but it's unbelievable to see this quantity of boas that are kept and look so incredibly healthy. It really is a testament to how he does things. And I can tell you this, he has a lot Lot of interesting techniques that he's doing that I've never heard other people do so it's really cool to kind of share this time with Jeff and see all these incredible boas this is a lipstick sun glow jungle jungle motley wow I got my first boa in 1984 I said about looking for a female first I had to tell that mine was a male I didn't know what sex it was didn't know anybody that bred boas didn't know you could didn't know anybody that bred any kind of reptiles but I thought you know if I had the opposite sex I got a shot at it so I sought, sought out a female, and like eight months after I got the female, I had a litter of babies. And I've been breeding them ever since. Basically kept records of everything I did. It was at a time when nobody else bred boas because boas were too unpredictable, too hard to breed. Don't do boas, do pythons, because everybody had already figured out the recipe to breed pythons, but we didn't know how to breed boas. I just kept a lot of records for years. And it was about 10 years later, I was going through my records just trying to figure out how it all worked, you know, the timing of everything. And that's how I figured out the length of the gestation period that boa females tend to shed 16 to 20 days after they ovulate. And then within about 105 days after that shed, they give birth. So I'm the guy that figured it out a long time ago. And I've just continued doing it ever since. And everybody else follows the same recipe now. It just works. Wow. This is a female labyrinth from the first yeah. litter. Wow. That is a beautiful snake. Oh my gosh. This is incomplete dominant. The super is the, or the crystal is the super form. Right. So it essentially is a, I, I call it a type of leucistic. Right. It just has it, more it, it, Yeah, it's, it it's just like with the ball pythons, it's the blue eye Lucy complex, but you just have a little bit more more pattern in it and that shows you the amazing colors underneath as you get wow. the in between leucistic and normal coloration you get to kind of play with that that variant where did the labyrinths end up coming from it came from a farm they were farm bred in Colombia. okay gotcha i got the original labyrinth this is a labyrinth fire which chase baker produced with a hypo labyrinth that he got from me that is my only adult labyrinth fire he is an adult. He doesn't know it yet. I've had him in with females for four months. He still doesn't know what a girl is, but I'm hoping he'll figure it out. Now this is more like a classic looking labyrinth. This is what the original Colombian born labyrinth looked like. I can see why he called him a labyrinth too. It makes sense. The bigger female that I just showed you, this is one of her babies. This is an Aztec Motley Sun Glow 
sharp. That animal's got a lot of pattern and the orange is crazy. This is a super key Aztec Sun Glow Sharp. Wow, that is crazy. I wanted to get your reaction to this. Wow, that is just, <laughs> that's insane. Oh my gosh. That looks more like a retic, you know, like one of those crazy yeah. retics than it does a boa. Wow. This is a Super Key West VPI. Wow, that thing is crazy cool. Probably jungle. Now that one is, is impressive. And they're all impressive. That one is a male, thankfully. And speaking of males, let me ask you, are you, are the blue tags males and the pink tags females? You got it. Oh, I love it. Well, I love, lucky, it. I love it. I love that you're so organized. <laughs> we, I've always wanted to do it. I've never done it. <laughs> so that's awesome. <laughs> Probably not jungle. This okay, is, so this is the same type of genetics, just without the jungle. This is another Key West VPI. You can see the dark eyes are evident right from the time they're babies compared to a regular VPI. This is a Labyrinth IMG. It is not HET VPI. But it is a Labyrinth IMG. So the Labyrinths are also, they, they don't have as much melanin, it looks like, right? Right. Right. Yeah. That's not always the case, though. Okay. It's, it's pretty variable, but I would say overall, the Labyrinths have less melanin. One thing that Labyrinths never have is on jungle boas, we often look for what are called saddle peaks, where the saddles kind of reach over, mm -hmm. you know, on a normal boa, something that boas have that other boas that are snakes don't have. Labyrinths never have any of those little saddle speaks, ever. That's a hypo labyrinth. Is a fire labyrinth? They, they are very feisty, this litter. But three labyrinths born like this one with a real, what I would call a blurry pattern. And two males in this litter, and then a female from several years ago. So this is a hypo Key West labyrinth. Yes. Here we go. Oh my gosh, what in the world, look at that. That's a wow. super labyrinth or a crystal boa. Gosh, wow, that is impressive. This is a Nexus. And what's this the genetics behind that? It's a VPI Nexus, so the Nexus is the pattern. The connected pattern is ge genetic. It's at least incomplete. Dominant, could be dominant, haven't bred two of them together. There's only one adult on the planet. This one was born last year. There were no males in the litter. This is a VPI Snow Nexus. This is the same we saw without the Anery. Without the Anery and without the Nexus. This is the original VPI Nexus. It's the only adult. It's a female. She's had babies two times. He is not going to ovulate this year. So this is a VPI Nexus. Nexus. And this is the original, you said? Yeah. I don't know which boa is my favorite, to be honest with you. He showed me so many. Let me know in the comments if you saw a boa that you were like, oh my God, that was incredible. I For those people that have been kind of opining for boas, uh, there's your fix. I mean, there's your boa fix. I mean, this has absolutely been amazing. Uh, 10 and a half, 11 hour drive was totally worth it. Unfortunately, now I've got to drive home the next 10 or 11 hours to stop it off really quick to drop forest off. And then I hit the road and get back to the Reptarium at BHB. But I tell you, I'm going to be on cloud nine because I absolutely am in love with what I've heard from Jeff. I'm so thankful that he allowed us to come in and share it with you guys. I'll put a link in the description to all his stuff if you'd like to show him some love because not only does he do amazing boas but these cages are his too. The boa file cages are uh, absolutely incredible. Been popular for many years so again put all the links in his description. This place is insane. I tell you what guys, that's it. I'm gonna end the vlog. I'm gonna drive 11 hours home and I'm gonna have a smile on my face the whole way. I hope that you have an amazing day. As always, your support is incredible. Do me a favor, be kind to someone and I promise I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>